Hello, we are Intercity's Unicorn Kingdom. Uh, so start us. Uh, uh, so to start off uh, with the uh, people still present with us in the Zoom, can we get a non-geographic location, as in something that could maybe fit inside of a house? Uh, you could type it in the chat, or even speaking out loud. A, a, la a laundromat. A laundromat. Oh, a laundromat. laundromat. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Laundromat. Hey, Matt. Hey, Deanna. How's your kids? Um, how's your cat's sickness? I heard his bum was really sore. You, you know uh, what? We had some surgery and uh -huh. that, he's on the recover. Oh, that pus that was leaking out, I gotta say was super, super gross. Yeah, I mean, bad enough for us. Imagine how that felt for poor little uh, Randall there. I know. I mean, it's really hard to see already when you adopted him a cross-eyed cat have now pustulal issues with their butt. I really have to die. Well, you know what? The cross-eyed was actually kind of cute, like not to make light of it, but yeah. just a little, a little kitty kind of almost looking at you. He was a little cutie. I got to say that um, the last guy I dated had kind of the same problems. Really? Yeah, yeah. And it was really hard to break up with him because it was like, well, how do I enter into that conversation? I mean, Ugh. you know, it'd be, it'd be slightly like, you know, intrusive and slightly like against his ableism. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to stick to cats for now. Like no, no real relationship, just a little, a little friend in need, you know? Really? But like, um, I just want to say like my sister got divorced and mm -hmm. she kind of needs like a, a filler date. And I was kind of hoping to ask you if you could be her first date into the new millennium and stuff. Like, like a one-off with no commitment? Yeah, totally. No commitment at all. You don't even have to wear proper clean clothes. It's going to be over Zoom. It's going to be fine. Oh yeah. I mean, if, if she looks like you. <gasps> Tag out Laura and let's cut to that date. Oh, you are handsome. Really? You are a handsome man. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Oh, just, oh, wow, the way you walk. Oh, <laughs> you are very, I, I am, I like you a lot. Wow, <laughs> wow. I mean, how about we just focus on what we want uh, for dinner tonight and keep it okay, to okay. superficial conversation. Oh, you're hungry? Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Look how you're so cute when you're well, hungry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking the, the ravioli. Okay, okay, okay. Free cheese. Oh, you like cheese? Oh, <laughs> yeah. look, how, look at you. <laughs> you hey. Bring, 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 bring. Hey, Sheila, Sheila. Bring. I'm sorry, let me just take this. Hi. How's, How's it going on the date? Sorry, I'm getting in really quick, but isn't he handsome? Like he's so handsome. He's handsome and he looks soft and cuddly. Oh, I like it. And I've been there. And you know what? He seems so interested. He has bright eyes and he's just really interested in everything. Okay. I'm thinking about, I, I might want to keep him. Sheila, Sheila, this is uh -huh. the one off. This is a one-off. Remember, you just came from your di divorce. Uh, Don't talk about your divorce and uh, kind of be sensitive. His cat has pustular butt issues. Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, gonna yes. Go. Wait. Okay, okay, got it. All right. I'm sorry. I, I have to admit that that was my cousin. You oh, already yeah? had. You have a cat. Yeah, his, his name's Randall. He's uh, got cross or cross eyes. Uh, crossed eyes. I recently had some surgery for a, a rectal I issue. I don't know if I could do this with your affection to, between me and a nut and a cat. I mean, I was one. I, I don't know if I could handle. In fact, that. here here he is right now. Just hi, hi, the, hi, you Randall. brought him to the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. He's, he's my emotional support animal. Oh, he's yeah. handsome too. Yeah, look at oh, him. Yeah. Oh. He's very much. He's like you. He's bright eyed and he has. Oh. Are you? Do you like cheese too? Do you yeah. like? What cat doesn't like cheese? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. I think I should maybe... I, I'm going to hold up the string. See if you maybe you both could jump for it. There's one. I, 
Mike, I, I don't Matt, know. Matt, Matt? No, I don't know what you think. I, I'm a person. Randall can play with the string. But you're so handsome and you're so bright. I come on, come on, come on. Well, thank you. But um, hey, Randall, you want some three cheese Randall. ravioli? Yeah. Randall, yeah. stop! I'm I'm in. Fine. Randall, I'm playing with Matt now. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. It's it's, it's okay. It's okay. I oh. I All right, play sleep. <laughs> oh, here's a uh, the plate of our five finest cheeses right there and I will prepare uh, yes you're just staring at them you know I took me five hours to pick to to pick to pick these for you sir I didn't ask you how long it took I asked you to get a plate of cheeses yes. and you bought a plate of cheeses Yes, and when you and, and when you ask your personal cheese chef to bring uh, bring you, sir, a plate of cheese, I'm going to bring you the plate of the best cheeses that five hours can buy. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you looking for applause for doing your job? What did you think being a gourmet cheese chef would have involved? Oh, this is you I... coming in and doing your job. This isn't you yeah. going above and beyond the call of duty. This is you doing what is expected of you. Oh, sir, Are you I am doing just for showing up. No, I am doing my job right here. So let's see. So what do we have here? I see. Yeah, I see Brie. I see Cheddar. I see. Wait, what is this? It's uh, uh, that's a dry. That's a dry Jack age 50 years. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you very much. This will do. You, wait, you just put it in your pocket like that? It's, it's, it's the cheese pocket. Okay. It's designed for holding cheese before okay. consumption. It's these are. It's a fifty euro cheese. Treat it with respect. Tag out, Michael. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. No, I, I know you got to impress your boss. Uh, Just want to make sure no one's around. I, I got this in my my own cheese pocket right here. Oh. Individually wrapped, craft. Honestly, your your boss he likes the simple things in life. He likes comfort food. Individually comfort. wrapped. It's it's, it's 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 this is peasant craft. Yeah, I know, but hey, <laughs> I got one more thing to go with it. Yeah, it's in its own can, and it has a little I, spigot at the top. Isn't and you a can? It. Yeah, and you press it, dude. Dude, this is the stuff that your boss wants. And dude, I can't tag out it. David. Tag out David and keep Alex. Did you talk about the sacred cheeses? <laughs> I did talk. I was about to talk about the uh, the sacred cheeses. You know cheeses. how secret and important these cheeses are to our mission. It is. That's I. I pointed out the fifty-year-old dry jack. Yeah, you know the one. Th mm -hmm. The the one's been passed out. That the 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 one that grandmother made originally. Yes, not that. Do you know that we handled all our government secrets and put it in that cheese? You weren't supposed to reveal that information. But he has it in his cheese pocket now. Oh wait. Uh, do, do you mean that we have to get it back? You weren't supposed to, you better get it back. Otherwise, Trump might come back to Kansas City. Okay. I got Lara. Yeah, uh, I'm a pickpocket, but if you want me to pick a cheese pocket, that's gonna cost you. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I need that, I need that cheese, uh, cheese back. These are that's fine my... fingers. These are, okay. these are my tools. Okay. Years of skill. It's, oh, good. Look at this. It's, it's, That's your wallet. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Your, your wristwatch. But cheese? It's going to cost you. It costs. I'll pay you. Uh, I'll pay you. Hey, someone gave me this peasant craft cheese. Will that be pay payment? You're offering me something with peasant in the name. Yes. 
I mean, you, I mean, just the way you dress, I mean, keep talking. And the fact that you're a pickpocket suggests that maybe you came from like a peasant, uh, uh, background. All right. All right. One ton of cheese now. A ton? Two more tons when the job is done. God, this is robbery, but I, I, sure, yes. You need that 50 year old cheese. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a family government secret. Cut to the cheese pickpocketer. So let's see, Mr. Rogers, I think it is. You were saying that you think you're qualified to be my new cheese chef? I am, I am. I'm uh, qualified. I've been a cheese chef for many generations. I mean, it goes back <laughs> in my family. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's awesome. good to hear. I've had some issues with my new cheese. Um, a chef, not that he can't come up with excellent samples. I have. Hey, do you mind if I get uncomfortably close to you for Jack just a moment? In my cheese pocket, actually. Oh, really? Yes. Right there. In that pocket. Right, right here, yes. R right there. Yes. Isn't that what that I just pocket. said? That uh, um, pocket. Yoink. Oops. Wait, he just grabbed my cheese and ran out of here. This is cheese burglary. Somebody call the cheese police. Sweep, sweep, sweep. I say peasant, I say peasant, I desire cheese. I am on a long walk, a long constitution, and I Are desire sustenance. I'm sorry, I was supposed to bring you the cheese, but my husband, you see, was locked up away. We were just poor farmers. Excuse, I care for not, young peasant girl, young peasant wench, young peasant <laughs> insulting yes. tone. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. You have kept this kingdom running on cheese for very life. You're quite the cheesy ruler, I must say. Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> If there's a cheese that I know not, I know not of that cheese. Now give me the peasant cheese so that so, I might come on your mind, I go on my way. Will you take my son instead of cheese? He's been raised, he's 14 years old, he knows how to pull. Oh, there he is. Daddy. He's very <laughs> stocky, he's got all his original teeth, and he's been known to yodel to goats. That's his magic power, sir. Use it wisely. In fact, let me just leave him with you. Bye there, Hezekiah. Do well with this bye. king. Hezekiah? Bye, bye, mommy. Yeah. You're a wee oh. thing. You don't look anything north of like, more like 105 stone, do you? No, much less than 105 sir, five stone, sir. Oh. Well, would you like you're... to hear me yodel? I would love bah. to hear you yodel. <laughs> bah. Oh, there's a sheep. Let's see if you're bah. work on bah. that sheep. Yodel a heap. More, 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 young peasant. Yodel a heap. Amazing, amazing young peasant Hezekiah. <laughs> oh. Such, such, such cheese these sheep will make under your sweet tutelage. Does Hezekiah's that, does, cheese is what we, we shall call it. Does, does this mean that I'll get to have a bed? No. What's the clear? You're still a peasant. You're not going to get a bed. <laughs> to the, taste, the tasting of the first batch of cheese. <laughs> uh, uh, young sir, young sir, uh, we'd like to, you to tell us about this cheese first before we try it. Well, I gotta say it's uh, it, it's it's very it, it's got a beautiful smell to it, and um, I swear uh, when I have it, I get a little loopy, but in that way that's not like legal that we don't really <laughs> <laughs> say, say no more. This is an amazing cheese. You know what? I wouldn't mind investing in this product. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not related to her at all, even though I mm -hmm. do have a mustache. But I agree 
that anyone else walking by here should definitely invest in this man's company. It is not a a fortuitous venture at all. It is it is it is good. What's um, your to- name, sir? What's your name? And what's the name of your cheese company? Well, I think that's directed at you, unrelated uh, mustachioed stranger. Oh, that was Hezekiah's Hezekiah's cheese, but I am not related to the people who started it because I do have a mustache. And I have no relation to this guy who has a mustache, but I do share yes. the mustache as well. This mustache is is entirely unrelated to all of them. Unrelated. The, mu- the yeah. mustache is unrelated. That is yes. uh, assuring. Uh, are, are you two here to uh, give your testaments to this cheese? Yes. I, I have to admit, I, I, I pulled the fast one on y'all. <gasps> this is not a real mustache. <gasps> well, wait a minute. I really have a mustache this- and beard. I was oh. just thinking just having, just having a mustache. I am the, the CEO of Hezekiah's Cheese. <gasps> Yes, I am influencing this focus group. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. I'm an insult to all things mustache. Right well, now. we still get the cheese for free though, right? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Cut back hey, to Hezekiah so fighting off of the goat, the, the goat, uh, goat attack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, oh my god, why are you so red? Use Where the yodel, you? young Hezekiah. Use the yodel. Oh, gra- grandfather, is that you? Yes, yes, it is. Use the yodel you learned. All right. Yodel. No, that's not what I taught you how to do. Come on. But the, do it better. Uh, Come on. Uh, Gra- grandfather, uh, yeah. Uh, gr- grandfather, I I did I did learn this from uh, from you. You didn't At learn least... that from me. <laughs> I, I come did. On. Come on, come on, dude. Okay, you can okay. you know how to yodel. Okay, yodel a he who. Oh, uh, do I get need uh, to do it for you? Do I need to uh, do it for you? Uh, uh, gr- Here grand- it goes. Just just listen to okay. this. Listen to this. this. Gotta do it with heart, God. young Hezekiah. Like, God, you're dead, and you can still do this. Oh yeah, it's it's I I I mean. Do you think I'll, fi- I'll finally learn as much as you have by the time I die? Uh, sure. I, I guess. I mean, you haven't learned much yet, but uh, I guess maybe. Yeah. Sort of. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I, I learned how to yodel more. I didn't really do any better at giving advice. I'm really just more of the yodel teacher type of grandfather who's dead. Wait, wait. So you, you've been practicing wh- while you've been dead. But I could wake these yo- I could wake these sheep up if you want. Want me to wake them up? No, it's it's better that they that they're calm and not up. attacking. I'm wake them up. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. No, grandfather, please okay. don't do that. You 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 go back to being you. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh maybe maybe next time I'll finally get to see you again. <sighs> there were th- weirder things have happened, but uh, I am dead. So. Yeah. Ah, oh, I miss you. Let's sweep. <laughs> so for the cheese and wine club this year, I bought uh, some of that Hezekiah's sheep cheese. Oh, I've heard such wonderful things. How yeah. how is it? Well, the taste is rather decadent and rather effluvious and rather hmm, non-compartmentalized. Ooh, really? I I believe that that is now a taste. Not compartmentalized and non-compartmentalized. It's it's rather indifferent taste, rather luxurious yet at the same time. 
Do you get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, I understand exactly what you're saying. It's like a brie I had last mm. month. It just tasted so eluvious that mm. I almost evasive. It tasted evasive. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like it yes. didn't allow me to taste it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I tasted something. one. I tasted one. It, it was almost like. I hadn't seen my mother in 20 years and I called her up and she guilted me over not calling her all that time. It's just that taste. It was just, it's marvelous, marvelous. Glorious, yes. I remember uh, this camembert I had just Mm. the other month. It was like it was fighting my taste buds. I Mm. ate it and a little battle took place in my mouth between these different forces. Exactly, it's just, exactly. My mouth became the graveyard of its casualties. It was. I, I, I it tasted was a glory in its victory. I tasted a hot habanero Havarti and the degradation that it did to my taste buds. It, it dug them up. It chewed them up. It spit them out back at me. Wow. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amazing. Cut back to the laundromat. So how is that Kate? Your 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 cousin is intense. Um, we've got another date scheduled. Yeah, you know, my sister cousin is just so amazing, right? Um, did she over talk about her divorce or what? Uh, it was all she talked about, and also she thinks I'm a cat. I'm pretty <laughs> sure, not not literally, but. We were we were ordering, and she literally held up a string for me to uh, to play with. Really? You know what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I I I think I'm okay with it. I can see that you, being the foundation of her relationship. You can't rush things with her. She's nearly divorced. I well, nearly divorced. Oh, nearly. Oh, so it's not official. I mean, he was such a creep that I just felt like I needed to get her moving along to the next person, even though she didn't quite cut the leash. Don't mention that to her, okay? All right? I'm sorry to interrupt. Matt, do you want to get in the carrier now? Um, like I said, she thinks I'm a cat. I was, I kind of let it spill that you're not quite divorced yet. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have pushed this so fast, but yeah, you want to? You want some catnip? Here's some catnip. Here, here you go. Here's some catnip. Will you, will you take it? I want Ooh. you to take the catnip. I'm so sorry. I just, I just felt like you needed to leave that guy, and he was such a jerk. And then here's my friend, who's even a better guy. Oh. <laughs> Laura, All right. Laura, you picked another winner for me. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's our show.